Hey guys, it's Coach here and welcome to a brand new video that we're going to be doing on the channel and it's going to be another squad builder um, and um, I haven't actually done a squad build in ages. Um, a lot of my time on YouTube um, has been uh, doing the deck of champions recently um, and uh, obviously a lot of team of the year stuff etc. Um, but I apologise for the lack of uploads really. We've only been uploaded maybe once or twice a week uh, the, uh, for the last couple of weeks and, uh, and that is going to be the deck of champions series. Um, and the reason we haven't been uploading is because a lot of us, well, especially, well, Jordan doesn't really upload anymore but me and Callum have had a lot of work to do um, for our courses at A-level, etc. Just try and get ready for university, so that is why we haven't been uploading that much. But nevertheless, we're going to be doing a school builder. Now, this, t this team does cost quite a lot of coins, um, but that is mainly because of one player. Um, but I think if you just took out the uh, player and put it with his normal card, uh, the team would cost you around 300,000 coins. So an averagely expensive team, but at this time of year, and uh, with how cheap coins are nowadays, uh, you could pick up 300k for like £2.50, if that. Um, so... So yeah, you can uh, you can really really uh, get this team for really really cheap if you were to buy coins. But anyway, the goalkeeper is going to be Casillas. Now I would have liked to put Courtois in this team because he is the best goalkeeper in the game. But unfortunately, obviously for commercial reasons, I can't. So we're going to go with Casillas, who's okay. Um, usually on FIFA, I don't think he's that good because uh, he always seems a bit too small and uh, he tries to do like the acrobatic saves. Uh, as you can see, the save technique is acrobatic, and uh, they always don't seem to always come off. And uh, I, I seem well, he seems to get chipped a lot. Um, which I have found using him this year, which is quite strange. But nevertheless, he's an okay goalkeeper and are probably worth around, like, I don't know, six, seven thousand 7,000 coins you do pay for him. Now, uh, the first centre-back is going to be Varane from Real Madrid. Um, he is brilliant. I actually really like Varane. Uh, this year, I do really like centre-backs with medium, medium work rates. So he obviously fits into that category really well. And a 76 pace, obviously, because I'm such a, a pace whore, I love uh, Varane. He is really, really good. And obviously, I've used him loads this year because of that Road to Rail series I did at the start of FIFA. The other centre-back is going to be a non-rare player. And it is going to be Yanga and Biwa from Roma. Um, really, really nice player. I really do enjoy Yang and Biwa. Um, I thought he was really, really good. Uh, again, medium, medium work rates. And I do really enjoy uh, centre-backs that have medium, medium work rates, as I said uh, about Varane. But if you can get two centre-backs with the same work rates this year, um, unless it's like high medium, even though apparently that does work. Apparently Ramos and David Luiz are really good together. But um, yeah, centre-backs with the same work rates do work really well. Um, the right back is going to be Conco from Lazio and uh, obviously from France linking with Yang and Biwa. Um, I mean, Conco is okay. Um, I thought he was going to be better. He was really, really good last year. Um, he's okay. I mean, 86 pace, 80 physical. Um, really, really good right back. But I, I don't know. You, you, well, you think he'd be a really good right back. But I think uh, I think he might have taken a slight downgrade from last year. Um, and I think if he got like an inform or a team of the season, something like that, he'd be absolutely godly. But unfortunately, um, he hasn't got any, uh, any of those um, yet this year. So... Um, so that's why I don't think Conco's uh, as good as he was. But he's a pretty good uh, right back for uh, about a 1,000 coins that you do pay for him. The left back is going to be Moreno from Liverpool. Um, re it's different, just the uh, difference to uh, Conco is ridiculous with uh, Moreno. He feels really, really good. Um, he feels really, really fast, really, really strong. Um, 80 dribbling on a left back is ridiculous. He's really, really good. Gets into some uh, real nice positions to put some crosses in, and I really do enjoy Moreno very much. The centre mid is going to be a non-rare again, and it is actually going to be uh, Ilera Mendy uh, from Real Madrid. Uh, he's here for chemistry reasons, but I, I, I actually, I've used him quite a lot this year. Um, obviously with Ro with uh, Rota Real again, and uh, I really do enjoy Ilera Mendy. I think he's really, really good. Um, I've said really a lot this uh, this uh, squad builder, so I'm going to stop saying that. Uh, but yeah, I thought he was good, and uh, I definitely do enjoy uh, Ilera Mendy. He's a, uh, <laughs> almost said it again. <laughs> he's uh, he's a good player. Uh, the other centre mid is going to be my um, uh, non-transferable. Um, Pogba and uh, Pogba is just awesome on this game. He's such a good player. Um, 88 physical. To be honest, physical is not the thing uh, that I see about him. I see the uh, the shooting, uh, and he's he's really quick as well. He feels a lot faster than um, than uh, 76. Along with those four star skill moves, four star weak foot, wins loads of headers with being six foot one. And uh, I think if he if he gets a team of the season, which he probably will, because he's already got two informs this year, and he's playing really well in the Serie A, that is going to be one lethal card. And I will spend loads of money to try and get him in a pack uh, for the uh, for my other account in the first owner club. The other centre midfielder is going to be uh, Herrera from uh, Manchester United. Uh, who links with Ilya Mendy and also Moreno. Um, again, Herrera, four-star skills, four-star weak foot. I didn't actually know this. Um, I didn't actually know this for uh, until a couple of months ago, and I did use him in, uh, I think just use him in a, like a, a non-rare BPL team. I really do enjoy uh, Herrera. He's really, really good. Um, 84 dribbling is his standout stat with four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Again, six foot tall, um, so he does win a few headers, and it was quite a surprise. I found him quite good. The cam is going to be... Um, 
uh, is going to be Isco, uh, who gets a pure link with Illa Mendy there. So Isco is perfect, is now on perfect chemistry. Um, I really did like Isco. Again, I'm saying really a lot. I do apologise, but I just can't help it. I literally have no grammar at all. Um, but yeah, Isco's a, a really good player. High low work rate, so he'd probably be quite good as a striker. So if he did get like a team this season, again, someone that probably will get a team this season because he's played so well in the Liga BBVA this year. He's going to have like 85 pace in his team of season card. So he is, he is going to be ridiculous. And I really, I, I'm looking forward to seeing that because he's going to be like, he's probably going to be like 88 to 89 rated as well. So he could be absolutely sick. Now the two strikers, the first one is going to be Carlos Tevez from Juventus. And the second one is going to be Di Maria from Manchester United. Now Di Maria, um... For me, has played 68 games and scored 140 goals with 29 assists. Um, it's not that good a record. I mean, it's just over two goals a game. Um, and I, I, I was trying to get him a three goal to game ratio, but that means he would have had to have 210 goals by now. Or, well, not 204 goals by now, I think. Um, if it was a three to one uh, game to goal ratio or goal to game ratio. But uh, yeah, he's really, really good. If you guys do have the coins, like six million coins he costs now, um, then I definitely re recommend you go and pick him up. Unfortunately, because I want to move over to my other account, no, I'm, I will end up having to sell him after the Deck of Champions um, series. Uh, and I kind of don't really want to sell him because he's such a good card. But I mean, I just want to, you know, team of the season coming around. Team of the season is so much better than team of the year. Um, I know the cards aren't better, but just as a whole, I love packing all those blues. But unfortunately, uh, I have to get rid of Di Maria, but he is absolutely awesome. 96 pace, 95 dribbling, 88 shooting, 91 passing. And he does feel as though he's got that 90 physical as well. He feels so strong. Four-star skill moves, and he's just such an amazing player. It's unbelievable. The other player is Tevez, who I've heard a lot about this year recently. But, I mean, uh, the strike partnerships, or the strike people, the people up, up front with Di Maria, usually just seem to get loads of assists. Um... Di Maria scores most of the goals in, in the team and uh, there are going to be a few goals at the end which I think the majority are scored by uh, by Di Maria. Watch out for a really nice goal from Tevez though. He does score a really nice goal. But yeah, go, okay guys, thank you guys for watching the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. This team, as I said, costs around 300k if you get Di Maria's normal card. But if you want to get his blue card, um, then he's going to cost you like 6 million coins plus. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.